Hey, good morning. Uh, hope everybody's having a great Thursday already. Um, just had our team meeting. Uh, always learn something every time we do it. And the cool part about us is that we got three underwriters that come on our team meeting and we, we have a conversation and uh, they talk about programs, things to watch out for, things that are coming up. Uh, always learn something every single time. And, you know, you guys heard me time and time again. Our main goal is to make sure we get everything answered on the front end so there's nothing that blows up. There's a lot of people running around now and freaking out because rates have gotten higher and they're, they're, they're shopping, they're doing this, they're doing that, which I get. But at the same time, it's like almost apples to oranges. We had somebody uh, last week that was so-called shopping us, and all of a sudden, um, they went with somebody they thought was going to get a lower price. Well, they got a lower price, but they can't do the loan now. So, um, very important. Uh, this isn't just something like you're you're comparing two things at Walmart or at Macy's and stuff. You gotta you gotta be careful. You gotta be you know you have to recognize. Um, and understand there are so many different parts on the mortgage side that could blow up on you. If you don't have the systems in place, it's gonna blow up. I mean, we get the SOS deals every single week. So, having said that, the the nugget that I wanna share today, I've shared it before, but it's been a while. Uh, With USDA loans, 100% financing, okay? You gotta watch out for the income gap, okay? Uh, Cap, I should say, Uh, but also, um, what you could do if you don't get seller concessions and the appraisal comes in higher, you can get up to 102% and roll some of the closing costs into the loan. That's the only loan compared to FHA, conventional VA, that you can do that. Okay, uh, most people think that VA, like people can do that. People think actually VA pays for VA doesn't do anything when it comes to that stuff. So that's totally separate. But with USDA, um, if it comes in higher, okay. So let's say the appraisal comes in. Sales price is 100,000, comes in at 102. Well, you could roll in $2,000 towards your closing costs and so forth. Bump up the payment, but here's a, here's a rule of thumb I, t- I say all the time, okay? If, let's say, you bump up your, your loan amount 2,000 to incorporate that, that $2,000 uh, above, uh, you know, appraisal that came in, um, every $1,000 only changes your payment five bucks, roughly, okay? So kind of keep that in mind. Uh, especially when you want to, you know, keep more money in your pocket. I'm always about keeping options uh, and, you know, so forth. So when it comes to that, you know, when we sit down with somebody and, and tell them that and they can't get seller concessions, well, if the appraisal comes in a little bit higher, um, there's an opportunity we can roll some of that stuff in. So that's with USDA, uh, 100% financing, okay? Um, let me know if you get any questions on that. Uh, shoot me a message, comment down below, or text me at 423-262-9229. Have a great day, everybody. Talk to you soon.